I will now describe and show you a typical operating sequence. With the AIM system plate in its ergonomic home position resting directly on the CMM granite surface and the air valve closed, a part fixture requiring limited lifting, bending, and reaching is mounted to the AIM system plate in the predetermined XY grid location. Note the secure nature of the AIM system plate as gravity holds it in its place. The part to be inspected is then secured in the fixture. Via the thumb control switch, the air valve is opened allowing the AIM system plate to be moved relatively effortlessly on the CMM table and repositioned with the plate locators pressed firmly against the locator stops. With the plate now repositioned, the thumb control switch is released, closing the air valve allowing the plate to once again rest securely on the CMM table. There is no fear of damage to the granite surface as the AIM system plate is literally suspended in air. At this time, the established measurement program can begin. As the measurement program of the first part is running, the second AIM system plate is set up with the appropriate fixture and part or parts to be measured. Note multiple parts can be mounted on one plate to further enhance productivity. With the first part complete, the thumb activated air valve is opened and the plate along with the part is moved back to its home position and the air valve closed. Note that each plate's handle valve is independent allowing for movement of one while the other remains in a rest state. Now set up, the second plate is moved to the measuring location and the CMM program activated. This process continues in an alternate sequence for as many like parts or different parts there are to be measured. The AIM system is ideal to promote safety and ergonomics in the workplace with the benefit of cost reductions via increased productivity in a laboratory setting. It is time to take advantage of your CMM investment and increase its throughput by purchasing an air assist movement system today.